Dear friends, this audio video is made for those of you appearing in the Advocate on Record exam. Recently, Honorable Justice Abai Oka in a lecture delivered to the students who are appearing for the Advocate on Record exam said that one, many lawyers, young lawyers have asked me, how can you read 40 judgments and come to the court? Are you really reading them? It's in Supreme Court, you all know. And in Supreme Court, you are going to file an SLP. That is for a client who comes before you. Advocate on records, the Honorable Supreme Court believes it is a very, very important uh, link uh, between the appellant and the Honorable Judges. So what is the jurisprudence is developing in this? So in the exam, they are going to give you a judgment and they will ask you to prepare some part of the SLP. When you are filing a specialty petition or a statutory appeal, before the Honorable Supreme Court, you will have first a synopsis, list of dates and events, then grounds of appeal and the question of law. It will be, you people you can see, you will write pages and pages. The judges will be, they are also human beings. They are, it's humanly impossible to read everything. But you should be able to convince the judge. So what did the Honorable Justice Abai Woka? Abai Woka, Lordships, is very good judge. Very, I appeared before their Lordships. And I've been reading all the Supreme Court judges. Justice Gawai, Justice, uh, Honorable Chief Justice uh, of India, uh, DYC, sir. They're brilliant judges. So, I lot of reading after that. I wanted to, I did my own experiments because I've been writing, filing the petitions. Uh, what Lordship said is that uh, the synopsis is what they are reading. They are reading only synopsis. By then they will make up their mind. That means how will, how should be the synopsis be drafted. Then uh, Justice uh, Chandrachud sir uh, said that you may have uh, uh, 20 points which you are going to take up for discussion. But uh, in the synopsis, you pick up the best of that 20. Facts. You bring it and then present it in a very short and simple manner. Because the advocate on record is going to file for the client. You may, somebody else may argue, senior counsels in Supreme Court means mostly. So, how will you present it? So, first and foremost step, you understand the judges, uh, you know, quick. Uh, they will read the judgment of the level one. For example, if it is high court, single judge order will be read roughly. Just like they'll scan through. Then they'll come to the division bench and then it will go to Supreme Court. Correct, no? So the base uh, appears to be only this single judge order, judgment, because it is a judicial review. Judicial review means you are testing the procedure followed by the executive. The decision-making process is tested and the decision-making is always with the executive. For example, uh, some uh, our council takes a discipline reaction. They are empowered to take discipline reaction. But the procedure laid down must be followed or not. That's all. That is where you are looking. Because 
There you are not going to get arguments and all. Just they will come prepared and see that. So I am now going to take a live study. How to prepare an appeal? My case, uh, dear friends, I am exploring uh, the science of this uh, law. Jurisprudence means, uh, for example, uh, the parliament thinks that uh, justice journals are there. We have to regulate that. Then when you want to regulate that, there will be a procedure laid down. There will be provisions of the code in line with the needs of the society. And that law is called as jurisprudence. <clears throat> now, we are talking about the scientific approach to preparation of uh, things. Now, I'll give you a simple example. Then I will take the judgment. This judgment, I repeat, what the Lordship said is, we come just going through that synopsis and uh, how synopsis should be drafted, Lordships have explained beautifully. Same thing, DYC, uh, Justice and uh, Gavai, sir, also. So, there may be 20 points, you think, in the appeal after you discuss with your client, etc. There are two types of advocates will be there, you know. The advocate who is helping you, let us say, in level one, before the single judge or before an NCLET. Single judge means one SLP. Single judge, division bent, SLP. Whereas if it is NCLT, NCLT, NCLET and Supreme Court. This is a statutory appeal, 61 of Insolvency and Bankruptcy Court, then 62 to Supreme Court. 61 to uh, NCLT to NCLET is 61 section. They give a statutory right and no court can interfere. And 61 to 62 is driven by this. Okay. Statutory appeal means there will be a little more uh, if, uh, free play will be there mostly if it is reasonable they will issue notice. So here I am only focusing on a simple thing how to prepare an appeal and how to get the admission. See you have to get a stay in a Supreme Court when you are appearing you have to get a stay otherwise the case will take time. Even notice is given is fine but then three possibilities dismissal. Dismissal means the highest court of the land. And that's all. The law is gone. Consequences will be very drastic will be for you. And the uh, second is the notice. At least it's better. You are having one eye to see. And getting a stay, that means you have won the case for some time. <clears throat> so, I will pick up from the Lordships. Uh, all of them are saying, you prepare a, a synopsis. And there are 20 points you select in the main facts of the case. After it, you'll write. But in that 20, you bring the most important. It's not necessary you should bring all. What do you think as the best you bring in there? Five, four points? Five points? Like this. I will give you my own example. And then I'm building up the case. Live case studies I am trying to show you. I will also show you the videos where the learned judges argued the matter, discussed also. Because this is reaching all the students across the nation. So I want to make it as simple as possible. I What I learned from 2011 I was appearing. I am doing only research. How to communicate it to the students in a simple language, young lawyers and all. I will give you what that points are the best of the points you should select. In this judgment that I am going to show you, uh, the learned judge of the NCLT, the case presented before the, lodge, uh, the bench is Mr. A was appointed as liquidator. Mr. A is appointed as liquidator and the liquidator at the time of appointment, this liquidator who gave consent was not having 
said uh, authorization for assignment was not having authorization for assignment that is the bank's grievance one branch among the seven banks filed the case see there may be so many reasons why they felt that's not important law they are saying so what is that authorization for assignment then they explained regulation 7a of ibc says that every insolvency professional must have authorization for assignment according to regulation 7a right and this gentleman did not have and he had admitted charge insolvency professional is a person of highest integrity so he has cheated the court how do you say that they said we have seen the uh, website and in the website it was uh, said rejected the affair affidavit that is the one second we have also wrote a letter to rti and in the rti we found that it was rejected it was not uh, it was showing nil something like that that's all then they said the situation is like this had this person told that he did not have afa will the adjudicating authority appoint him or not therefore he has cheated and hence he should be removed that is the grievance now that is here the question is whether you are having a certificate called authorization for assignment or whether you are violating the regulation 7a two things are okay so this gen uh, the concerned person was not having afa and on the allegation of that uh, ibbi uh, he accepted this assignment ibbi uh, has found him guilty and uh, that order was challenged before madras high court stay was granted stay was granted now the simple point is that whether he violated regulation 7a or not if he had whether that is relevant for the adjudicating that officer when they appointed whether that for appointment this particular provision compliance is relevant or not if it is relevant then the judge has appointed wrongly the procedure followed by the judge is not correct therefore you can remove him correct no so the first law is what is the power that was exercised by the ncelt bench that is the concept there is a power which says you do this so the adjudicating authority is given a power to appoint a person as liquidator that is the power given to adjudicating authority and whenever there is a section in the code that section also will explain you the procedure that through the regulations so whenever you are challenging suppose if you are the client of that bank then you should see that this is the process, power given to the adjudicating authority according to this power this is not properly exercised there is a defect whatever be the reason then you remove him otherwise you can't remove him that's the case that is the case now what this uh, point liquidator was telling is that uh, my appointment was approved by ibbi my appointment was approved by ibbi see that they have made wrong statement materially mistake in the affidavit they have made he showed the approval in the website second he said the regulation violation is important that regulation says the section 344 says three situations are envisaged one you apply for the 
AFA authorization for assignment every year and that is given. Situation 1. Situation 2, you apply for AFA, it is rejected. Then you don't have rejected. Then they'll immediately up file it in the website. There is no communication. You have to see through the website. That is the ultimate. So in my website, they put nil only. They are not rejected. Why not rejected? There is one more provision is there, which says that if the you apply and within 15 days, you should be given. If you are not given, it is deemed to have been given. That means you are not violated the regulation. Correct? No, you may not be having the certificate. But at the same time, violation of regulation is not done. So therefore, <coughs> he has explained, I was not knowing. Whatever document you said, that, that the RTI document shows, after eight months also they are processing. So how will he come to know about it? And that uh, deemed provision is there. This is the argument. And then, stay of Madras High Court, uh, the, the, uh, Justice Abdul Kudos, it came and he stayed it. After hearing it, fast. That, that. So when we came before the Honorable Justice uh, Abdul Kudos, he just asked me, what is that? I explained to him, Lordships, that I have uh, received only on 16th June after eight months, July. Whereas I was appointed in uh, May. So I was not knowing it. And as for this regulation, I have not done anything wrong. But the IBBI intentionally did like this. They themselves approved my appointment. And when we find why they rejected in July, because they said I have not paid the money, but I paid the money. It is their accounting error. Immediately said, yes, stay. Granted. So when you presented this to the adjudicating authority, uh, this gentleman said, oh, it is a stay granted by Madras High Court. And he has not done anything wrong. So I'm dismissing this. Then the bankers said, no, 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 no. You please uh, hold it. Uh, let the case decide something like that. They withheld. That is the point, the case. I'm just telling you, I'll take the case and explain. But what happened, this uh, adjudicating authority, technical member, he was found to be taking money and passing orders. Who has found the president of NCLT filed before affidavit to the president, uh, Supreme Court. So his term was rejected. The extension of the term was not given because when a judicial officer is doing all this misconduct, the judges may not like to make it big issue. They want to sub calm down because that will have a drastic impact on the confidence of public on judiciary. But in this case, the president of NCLT himself filed uh, these things. So if you see, he was, uh, this, I mean, his term was decided not to be extended on 14th June 22. Between 14th June 22, he was allowed to continue the dispensation. The most 100 judges, judgments he passed, pronounced. See, bench will be there, two judges, but the other judge, you know, was a criminal specialist. This man is a technical member, company secretary. So he was having very good knowledge. Very intelligent person with good knowledge. And uh, on the last day of his going, he removed the liquidator. In the order when he reserved on 20th March, he removed it. Whatever be. And what he did is he appointed the promoter's person who was working with the promoters as a, a liquidator too. And that person has just passed. Two months before that, he passed the insolvency exam. Right. Now, the subject matter of the discussion is what? This man is not having authorization for assignment. That's all. But he never discussed that. He never discussed the stay of Madras High Court. And uh, he, what is not discussed, what is not pleaded, he uh, took it and then uh, General Clauses Act, he applied and all. 
That's what has happened. I'm telling you the background so that you have to bring it to the Supreme Court. So he wrote so many things which were never pleaded. They were not the subject matter of this. And he also wrote in earlier judgment, this man committed something wrong. Therefore, I am using General Clause Act and removing. That is called without jurisdiction. You can read judgments, you know. Uh, first step is you have to go and read in the library. You have to sit and read detailedly. <clears throat> On one point, there will be so many judgments. Then you will get the authority with which you can speak. I will tell you how a lawyer will deal with that situation. I am giving a lot of ideas and uh, this practical example, if you take, you will immediately know. So, this man removed. He had got, uh, you know, my, if I, whatever I explained, he is a judgment, not by anything, he is influenced extraneous considerations. Because the, not we are saying, you can't say anything against the judge. If he is passing an order against you, appeal. Why are your allegations? If you see in American jurisprudence, uh, they have a very strong system when the people file a kind of judicial misconduct. 95% of the complaints are appealable orders, aggrieved because the judgment went against them. See, judge is, uh, you know, what he can do. Based on the facts available, he will argue. He will decide the case. So he will plan it in such a way. You can't uh, there is a judgment of Honorable Supreme Court now on how a judge indulges in corruption. R.R. Uh, Parikh was state of Gujarat. Muzaffar Hussain versus uh, state of Uttar Pradesh beautifully analyzed the judgments. How you can bring a judicial misconduct complaint against a judge. Now I am talking about how to build up your case for SLB based on what happened. So he was removed. And when you are removed, all of a sudden, where you have to get to use, you have committed so many friends who worked hard and almost he concluded that reasons also we will discuss later. But uh, this is not very, we don't know what is relevant. That's why I am telling 20 points are there. Which points you will take is what I am trying to answer. Right. The first part is over. And uh, judgment is taken. What are the essentials will come out? I am going to see first. But I am giving the gist. So first step is that the learned technical member, he didn't write the, he is the man behind the writing, but he made the other judicial member name. Because that the learned judicial member was a criminal specialist from justice in criminal law. And only six months was there for her when she appointed, she was, when the madam was appointed as the adjudicating authority judicial, about eight to nine months is the time uh, when she reaches 65 years. And what is that? It's a highly technical subject, company law, specialized, evolving subject. So uh, Lord, uh, the honorable member was looking and listening and uh, it like this, like this. And this man took up the control of this. That's what happened. Recordings are all there. So this man, uh, this uh, uh, technical member, First of all, what is the issue that was agitated? And what were the pleadings of the parties if he did not write? He said, yes, he does not have a affair. Then what is he spoke is what was not deliberated. It's without jurisdiction. Case will die. And Madras High Court stray order, they don't respect in the tribunal, especially NCLT, NCLT. Supreme Court and Madras High Court, if you argue, that's the end of it. Uh, that, that judges... <clears throat> So matter is gone. And uh, the next point you have is, how can you appoint uh, somebody who is working with promoters? He, he, the judge wrote, I took it from the list of IBBI, 100 uh, people, experts. From that, I, I took this man. Who is this man? He never had just passed. Will anybody do it for such a massive assignment, 1,000 crore assignment? You are taking somebody who is not just passed. And uh, who was earlier assisting the promoters. That means the promoters and the bank would have influenced the judge for extraneous considerations. It's a clear cut case as per R.R. Parikh. But while you bring it there, would you like to bring it before the court? And the court takes very harsh view. This fellow is talking like this. I'll dismiss anything they can do. 
So which are the points relevant for you to discuss? <clears throat> Total irrelevant points he discussed, I'll show you in the judgment. Uh, first, I will explain you and uh, you all can see that. Yes. Can I will go through that and uh, yes, see this is the judgment. I'll read out step by step. I'll come to the next video so that you will have a clear picture and you carefully wrote students have to read, listen to this point carefully, facts you are to picking up, law you are picking up, then what happened in Supreme Court, what happened in NCL EAT? And then how will we draft it? This is the sum and substance of my discussion on this subject. Right. <clears throat>